Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago uh, with the morning grain comments. Well, uh, markets are mixed overnight with corn and soybeans lower and wheat higher. Wheat's higher led by the Minneapolis. Um, yesterday we saw crop ratings drop as much uh, as expected, except uh, spring wheat ratings dropped more than expected, especially in North Dakota, and some of the lowest ratings that we've seen uh, in history. So we'll be watching pretty closely uh, the weather. Today, all three maps suggest that there'll be rains across Iowa uh, into uh, parts of the eastern Midwest and uh, down south and southeast. Um, one thing we would like to note, though, is that on Thursday, there could be very heavy rains for parts of Missouri and central Illinois. Uh, today's morning maps actually extended those heavy rains into parts of southeast Iowa and also into west central Indiana could be localized flooding. Um, on Thursday, we also could see some light shower activity in the Dakotas, but our weather guy put out a special report last night suggesting that after these rains, and as we get closer to July, the Northern Plains, uh, the Northwest Midwest, the Pacific Northwest, and the uh, Canada Prairies are gonna see less than normal rainfall. So I think that it's gonna be hard to get to that 179 corn yield and that 51 soybean yield that the USDA is using. We also noted yesterday that uh, China was a small buyer of US uh, new crop soybeans. I think the market uh, hopes that they'll come in and buy more uh, new crop US corn and uh, US soybeans. Uh, without that, it's gonna be difficult for the market to rally, uh, even in a, a dry weather scenario. Uh, we also noted that um, Russia uh, will be dry and warm in their spring wheat areas, but uh, looks to be uh, that high pressure system could break uh, later this week. We're still worried about certain areas of Russia that might have lower than normal production uh, prospects. Um, as we get ready for the June 30th acreage and stocks report, I think it's a critical report for the momentum of the marketplace. Whatever the average trade guess is for corn, bean, and wheat stocks, and corn and soybean, uh, acres, if the numbers are below, then I think the market will try to make a new trend higher trade. If the numbers are above, especially in the stocks, you could actually see the market um, tend to trade a little bit lower. And that the only thing then that would rally the market would be a July um, weather forecast of drier than normal conditions. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And remember, always treat people like yourself would like to be treated.